Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. New books. I've got The Fourth Wing, Fly or Die, The Fourth Wing. And this is number one in the Empyrean series um, by Rebecca Yaros. And it's in the category New Adult, apparently college age kids. And it's about a war school. And the main, it's a war college for dragon riders. And Violet, the main character, thought she was going to. Um, into the scribe quadrant where she would be involved in history and books but her mother the commandant decided to send her to war school and she's small and frail apparently dragons don't like small frail people and it's hard to bond with and there's more students than dragons so there's some competition and she's just trying to survive so i don't know what her mother was thinking but in any case Everybody wants to kill her, the dragons, the other students, um, but she's going to war school. And um, this is number one. Last week we talked about number two. So we've got number one and number two of the series. Fourth wing. We've got Noodle Conquers the Comfy Mountain, a children's book, obviously, about a pug who's usually very happy in his little donut bed, but he's spouted the couch and decides it looks a lot more comfortable. However, he's a pug and he can't get up there. And this is about his quest to get up onto the comfy mountain, which is the couch. A cute picture of the author and his pug. I think they're adorable. And we've got The Frozen River, which really sounds good, by Ariel Lahan, La I think I'm pronouncing that right. And it's based on a true story of a woman who, who wrote a diary about her experiences set in the 1700s in Maine. And so it's kind of a historical mystery. And this woman was a midwife in 1789. And she was called in to determine the cause of death for a man that was um, frozen in the river. And she said it was mysterious and she didn't think it was an accident, but the police said it was. So she decided to investigate the murder on her own and it's all chronicled in her diary. The woman's name was Martha Ballard and it sounds fascinating. So she actually, you know, in a time period where women really weren't encouraged to investigate murders, not only investigated but you know documented the whole thing in her diary and this book is inspired by what she wrote so it looks pretty good i'm gonna read it then we've got another book by mo willems don't let the pigeon drive the sleigh and god knows don't let the pigeon drive the bus was very good everybody loved it my nieces and nephews all had to have it um this one looks just as good Pigeon wants to drive the sleigh, Santa doesn't, says no. Pigeon finally decides he's terrified of the reindeer, doesn't drive the sleigh, but um, very nicely illustrated and a very cute little children's book. And that's what we've got. Thank you.